Welcome to Social Ella Ministries, where we are committed to glorifying God and exposing the devil. just want to share a message with you regarding this being a season of transition. And by that, it is not commensurate with the Jewish New Year, this being fall in the Northern Hemisphere, or anything like that, but truly a season of transition. And in this season, many of the people who have been in top ministerial positions, it is time for them to transition out. In some cases, it may just be like um, Moses, who faithfully fulfilled his tenure, and it's time for Joshua to lead people into the Promised Land. And of course, the thing about um, Moses, Moses spent time in the wilderness after having been in Egypt for 40 years. The Lord sent him back to Egypt, and the Lord had him lead the people as far as the wilderness, the things Moses had experienced. It was Joshua who went into the Promised Land on a reconnaissance mission, and the Lord had him lead the Israelites into the Promised Land. So in some cases, the previous leadership is that they haven't been places where the Lord wants his people to go. And he's looking for people who have been, in some cases, in the wilderness, in the cave. And those individuals have been prepared to step forward, to become that Joshua generation. But then there are times when people are like King Saul, they have been in a position for a while, not serving faithfully. The Lord has been warning them for years to repent, but they have refused to repent. Some of them have, have even been trying to persecute and even kill those they can have discerned the Lord is raising up to take their place. In some cases, the person was like an Eli. When, by the way, when it was time for the Lord to put David in position, he killed King Saul. And if you don't believe him about the Lord killing King Saul, look in First Chronicles 10. It tells us that the Lord killed King Saul. So the Lord removed King Saul so he could put David in a position to fulfill his promise to his anointed. There are times when a person is like an Eli. Eli, maybe by himself, he's doing a great job, but people under him, like Eli's two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, they weren't doing so well, and Eli wasn't keeping them under control. So the Lord got rid of Eli to bring in a Samuel. For some of you, you've been in like a prison, where you're going through things like Joseph, a humbling process, whether you want to call it the refiner's fire, the furnace of affliction, but you have been going through it, and you know the Lord has made a promise to you. In some cases, you're wondering, what more do I need to do in order to pass this test? Well, when you're going to school, in your final year, you usually pass all the requirements before you graduate, before you actually walk across the stage. Joseph passed all the tests. He had been humbled by the Lord. He was ready to be put in a position where his family would bow down to him, and he wouldn't lord over them, and he could do the things the Lord wanted him to do with humility. But it's like in the blink of an eye, 13 years of going through hell, and the Lord exalted Joseph to fulfill his promise to him, or at least to begin fulfilling his promise to him. So yes, this is a season of transition. Some people have served faithfully, and the Lord is calling them home. Others think they have served the Lord faithfully. And he will tell them to depart from him because they are workers of iniquity and he never knew them. It didn't take long for Joseph to ascend into the position of being a governor. The process was long, but it, mean it just took one day to make that transition. So if you're one of those who've been waiting for the Lord to call you forward, <laughs> don't simply get ready but be ready or nothing there are times some of you have been like um, Joshua serving under Moses but also you not use another example you're like an Elisha serving under Elijah and one of the things about that Elijah was taken up into heaven and he left his mantle behind 
One of the most important things for you to always focus on is to be a son or a daughter of God. A son or daughter of the Most High God. Elijah left his mantle behind. Now, we can speculate, and I be do believe, that in the book of Revelation, where it speaks about the two witnesses, that Elijah is one of those two witnesses. But he left his mantle behind for Elisha. And one of the things that marked the transition is that after Elijah was taken up into heaven, the prophets saw Elisha, and in 2 Kings 15, they spoke and said, The spirit of Elijah does rest upon Elisha. Elisha, he had to serve under Elijah for a while. In fact, there's a point where they refer to Elisha as the one who used to pour water over Elijah's hand. So he served Elijah for a while. But Elijah had to be moved out of the way for the rise of Elisha. So it is a season of transition. For some of you, you will get transitioned out. For others, you will get transitioned in. And I have another, or I have a teaching to do, and this may factor into that teaching. But when you're holding on to a promise from the Lord, know that your promise has an appointed date, which means your trial has an expiration date, because your trial must come to an end in order for the Lord to fulfill His promise to you. I say that again. If you know the Lord has made a promise to you, but it seems as if Everything but that promise is coming to pass, as if you're heading in the opposite direction. That means you're going through a trial. Your trial has an expiration date. It must expire because the Lord must fulfill His word to you. He must bring it to pass. So at some point in time, what you're going through right now must come to an end. And I mentioned about um, passing the test earlier. The day Joseph interpreted a dream for both the cupbearer and the fair and uh, Baker, that was his test because it showed that he would be able to appear before the Pharaoh, albeit two years later, to give him both good and bad news. Also, the person who was going to help get Joseph out of prison was the cupbearer. Joseph already made the connection. So, don't worry how the Lord's going to deliver you out of it, know that He will because whatever it takes for Him to fulfill His promise to you, that He will do. And you who have been faithful in a little, he will give you much. And in some cases, it means moving others out of the way. Hence, it being a season of transition. And I salute those who have been serving the Lord faithfully, and it is time for Him to call them home. And when I say home, I do mean home to heaven. God bless you.